Okay, first I'm resuming my tour of St. John, St. George, St. Joseph. Uh, in the last video, I came to St. Joseph. And right here where we are, this is where I stop. We are actually just over the border into St. John. So you are at the very edge of St. John. So I'll be heading back to the main road just now. I've been here for quite, for a few hours with my former work colleagues. The day a bit of a major tour went all the way to the edge of Hackton Cliff. Had a look at the lovely east coast of Barbados, and now I'm heading back to the main where I continue my driving tour. Hope you enjoy this part as so much as you did enjoy the first part. I think the road should be much better than what we came over in the earlier video. But we will still pass through a few bad spots as we go, so we can look up for it. So I'm heading back to the main now and then I'll be turning left to continue from where I turned off in the last video. <coughs> As I said, we are at the very edge of St. John, so there's the border between St. John and St. Joseph. And here's the main, I'm going to, so here's where I turned my turn earlier. So I'm back on the road, heading eastward, eastward mainly, and then after a while I will start heading a bit towards the south, and then southwest. Coming up right here, where I'm going to make the right turn, that's the rear entrance to Hackerton Cliff. If you are here in Barbados, it must be a visit to that cliff area. It has a nice lookout view. And I'm going to make a left turn here. And from here up, we are actually into Malvern, Malvern St. John. And the building that I just passed that I came around is Malvern Great House. <clears throat> Having a bit of rainfall, but it's just a passing shower, so eventually we come out of it. Uh, this plantation is still in the cane production, as you can see, the cane on both sides. I'm still heading generally eastward, but with a slight swing towards the south. Uh, this village that we're going to has several names. So the first part here is Malvern. Then a little further up we get Edgecliff. Then we get Edie Village. And then the far end will be Huddleston. You can't tell exactly where each part start and stop, but it's one big village but with several names. For the most part, we have up from under the cloud, 
I believe this area that we now go past is the hospital end of the village. And of course, I should mention that this is the Royal GSC Wall debate at St. John Parish Church, another popular tourist attraction. Um, the church is on the cliff actually with a nice look up view over the east coast. And I'm passing right next to uh, this Clifton Hall plantation house and the road here on the right. We take you all the way back into Sherburn St. John. So I'm going to do this right turn here. If I continue straight, I will go straight to St. John Parish Church. But I'm taking this side road here. And from here on, the area is called Gaw Hill. And now we're heading back towards the south and slightly west after we get to the middle stop at the end of this road. This is just basically a, a lake road. And you can see where they head on the opposite side of the highway, the Gaw Hill Pavilion and Gaw Hill Play Field. So from here I'm turning right and I'm going to be heading as the truck is going down back downhill southward with a slight drift to the west as I head more tourists bridge down. We're still in St. John, so I'm still a long, long way from down but this is the direction I'm heading. So all this is Gaw Hill. Of course there are two car hills in Barbados. This is Carl St. John. The other one is on the south. That is Carl Hill Praise Church. So the entire district here is called Gaw Hill, but this bottom end here, we almost at the area district, but down here is called Small Town, but it's still Gaw Hill. I suppose Small Town is probably a nickname. And we are actually leaving the village now. I turn this corner to point this journey westward with a slight drift to the south. So from here down we'll be going nearly west and south.
we're moving into area now known as pool land. We got pool number one, pool number two. Those are the side roads that you're seeing on the left. That is one, two, and three, if I remember correctly. And now we are approaching four roads. So we will see the cross road coming up. There's this thing. Here by the gas station, you see the four across one road on your right, and that's one on the left. So, this is four roads. So, this district going down is four roads. And the lower part of the district is called Lemon Harbor. So, we have four roads, and then in the Lemon Harbor. Again, it's like one big district, but one part is called four roads, the other part let me know. So all here would be lemon arbor. Here, no, I think we are just about crossing into St. George. So we are no longer in St. John, now we are in St. George. And we are moving into the Golden Ridge area. And shortly coming up on your right, you see the water reservoir that serves a pretty large portion of it. Island. Stretching all from here right down in to St. George and into St. Thomas. This will be the Gordon Ridge Cousin area. As we said, district. And here is the reservoir. Well, I think it's both reservoir and from the station. So all this on the right is the from the station and reservoir. So here is another tourist attraction passing there on the right. That is another mechanical garden. It used to be called Orchid World, but now it's called Tropical Garden Barbados. And that is in now the Groves area. So we are actually in Groves St. George, very just all here where we are just as we pass the Tropical Garden Barbados. You notice that we are drifting downhill most of the time.
that's positive interest of British caught on the right. I'll go and turn this back to another high there. And we are moving into the Newberry district, which is just at the top of Gun Hill. Turn right now, we take us into St. Jude's and those type of areas. All the St. George. Sorry, that I say right, but I shall say left. That's the very Nazarene church right there that just passed on the left. Now, so we start going down here again to the Cat Ross. We'll be going down Gun Hill. So from here down. We are going to be actually in the, the Gun Hill area. It is down towards the bottom of this hill where we have the land. You won't be able to see the land though because it's off the road up on the hill, so it won't, you won't actually see it. But it's on the left side of the road near the bottom of this hill. that we just passed there on the right, I think that it's right there, so we'll go to the start of the lion. Well, I believe you are some in the region of on leap. Not exactly sure how far up leap was, but I believe most of this right here is leap. But you take us all the way down to the parish church, the large parish church, I point out oh, when we get down there. Here, I'm sure not that they are definitely in the fleet. But like I say, I don't know how far up the hill the district is called Gleep, but definitely this area here, they are in Gleep. Make a quick stop here. I wanted to check the um, this farmer's mar market. I'm looking for some produce, so I'm just checking to see if things are open. Uh, it looks like most of the kiosks are closed, so I'm out of luck here. So I just I will just turn around and continue my journey down. Just one person selling on a tank, but she don't seem to have what I'm looking for, so I will keep going. Back on the main I go.
think I have a little challenge getting back on the roof from here because yeah, traffic's very heavy going both directions. Um, this road gets um, and bring uh, traffic on further east in St. George and St. Philip. And of course, this is afternoon time, Thursday end of work there, so there will be quite a few the vehicles coming along this road at this time, so I'm going to have to wait for someone to let me out. Now we're looking right across the plain field, that is the George Parish Church over there. Then we go back on to the other highway where she's coming to now, so as a turn left, then we'll be pointing directly towards the church. So you see where the carries are ahead. That is where the church is. St. George Parish Church and there's a party of furrow on this evening, so that's why there are so many carries over there. And now I'm heading downhill again. And this area is called Valleys, St. George. This will take us right down to the junction with Charles Rowbridge. So we're coming down to where the road. We're going to start Lady Westford and we're going to go here from this triple junction to the left. And where the carry, where the concrete track is turning, that's the Charles War Bridge going down into St. Michael. And we are going more southward and eventually we will cross over into St. Michael as well. This area here is called Salters St. George, and the bottom end, the far end, will be Salters St. Michael. is from this point here now that we will be crossing over on Sauter's St. George into Sauter's St. Michael. And we are actually approaching a major stop. And I will end this video at that major stop when I get to the front of the line. And after that, I will continue the next video which will take me from there right into Bridgetown because from here I'm just about uh, maybe three miles outside of Bridgetown so I'm actually into the south, southwest of the island of so like I said this is Sauter St. Michael and I will rejoin you with the next video after I reach the Asher Major stop. So I hope you have enjoyed the drive with us and that you enjoyed the tour. And from here on, we're going to move now from the rural area into the urban area and into Asher Bridge Town. And then we see you go from there. So until, see you next video.